Hello students, let us discuss this question of a metal conductor having a charge placed inside the cavity. So a point charge is placed inside a cavity of a conductor. Will the charge be present on both inner and outer surface? That means if any charge is placed inside the cavity, what will be the charge on the inner surface and what will be the charge on the outer surface? Let us see. You know that metals are good conductors of electricity because they have free electrons inside them. So free electrons are present everywhere. They are roaming here and there. Everywhere they are present. When you put this positive charge Q inside the cavity, then this positive charge Q will attract the free electrons which are present here. They will be attracted inwards towards the positive charge. So, these are the forces of attraction. Electrons come near to the positive charge. This positive charge pulls inwards all the free electrons, many of the free electrons and those negative charges of free electrons will be now present on the inner surface. Therefore, there will be charge present on the inner surface. This is due to the attraction of this positive charge. If you remove the charge from the cavity, then this inner surface cannot have any charge. It is only because of the presence of the charge inside the cavity is that this charge exerts attractive force on the free electrons and the free electrons get accumulated on the inner surface and that is why there will be charge present on the inner surface of the cavity. So due to the attraction force of positive charge, free electrons will be pulled inwards. Thus the inner surface will have negative charge. Then what will happen to the outer surface? Will there be any charge? See, in the beginning of the question, the conductor is uncharged. There is no charge given to the conductor. This is present inside the cavity, but it is not in contact with the conductor. So the conductor is charge free. The total charge on the conductor is zero. So total charge on the conductor must always be zero because of the law of conservation of charge. Therefore, if a certain amount of negative charge gets developed on the inner surface of the conductor, then the same amount of positive charge must get created on the outer surface of the conductor. So that the positive charge on the outer surface plus the negative charge on the inner surface, their total sum must be zero. If suppose the charge on the inner surface is 1 micro coulombs, negative value minus 1 micro coulomb, so the charge on the outer surface will be plus 1 micro coulomb because the total charge on the conductor must be 0 before and after. So because the total charge on the metal is 0, thus the equal amount of positive charge will get developed on the outer surface. That means charge on the surface S1 and plus the charge on the surface S2 total must be zero. So therefore charge on the surface S2 will be negative of the charge on surface S1. So whatever negative is present here, negative or negative, same positive amount will be developed on the outer surface. So another question arises that is the charge on the inner surface has same magnitude as the charge kept inside the cavity? That means inside the cavity the charge is Q. What is the magnitude of the charge which is contained here on the inner surface? Is it same as Q or different from it? Let us try to get the answer. In order to find this answer, draw a Gaussian surface which is the boundary of which surface always passes through the inner part of the metal, everywhere passing through the metal part, enclosing the cavity and the inner surface charge and the charge kept inside the cavity. Now, let us apply the Gauss law onto this conductor. Gauss law says integration of E dot ds over the whole Gaussian surface is equal to Q enclosed by epsilon naught. Now, we know that at each and every point inside the metal, the electric field is zero. That means on the Gaussian surface also, each and every point on the Gaussian surface also the electric field is zero. Therefore, 
the left hand side of this equation would become 0. So we get 0 is equal to q enclosed by epsilon naught. That means by cross multiplying epsilon naught here, we can say the q enclosed must be 0. Thus, the charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface must be totally 0. If that is the case, then we can write the charge enclosed that should be equal to 0. But if you see the diagram, within this Gaussian surface, how much amount of charge is enclosed? The charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface is the one which is kept at the center of the cavity or anywhere in the cavity and second one is this charge located on the inner surface that means the q enclosed by this gaussian surface is equal to the charge inside the cavity q and the charge on the inner surface this negative charge so charge inside the cavity is q and let us say the charge on the inner surface is q s1 charge on the inner surface q s1 this total sum must be equal to zero therefore the charge on the inner surface must be minus q. Hence, we have answered the question that the charge produced on the inner surface of the cavity will always be equal in magnitude of the charge kept at inside the cavity and opposite sign. If we put plus q inside the cavity, then minus q will get developed on the inner surface. If you put minus q inside the cavity, then plus q will get developed on the inner surface of the cavity. Lastly, what about the charge on the outer surface S2? As the total amount of charge on the conductor is 0, so the sum of the charges on the surface S1 and surface S2 must be equal to 0. Now, as we have already proved here just now, that the charge on the inner surface S1 is nothing but equal to minus Q. Also, the charge on the inner surface S1 plus the charge on the outer surface S2, this total must be equal to 0 because the metal was initially uncharged. Therefore, the charge on the outer surface S2 will be equal to minus of charge on the inner surface and the charge on the inner surface is minus q therefore we can say that the charge on the outer surface is plus q so here the final answer that if you put a charge plus q inside the cavity then the charge which is getting developed on the inner surface of cavity will be minus q and the charge getting developed on the outer surface of the conductor will be plus q so students, I hope that you have understood this concept. If you liked it, kindly press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you very much.